The Queen is dead, and another episode of the podcast has just started. That's the newest thing that's happened. This, who knows when this podcast will come out. We can tell Luke to prioritize this one. Yes. Because the Queen died, and that's relevant, and I want clicks for that. Yep. That stupid- The Queen fucking died. That stupid bitch died. Whoa, whoa, I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do people get offended if you talk shit about the I, royal family? I personally don't know the IQ of the Queen. So. They're all inbred. But there was a TV show where Queen Elizabeth is, I'm sure, mentioned. So? What does what that have to do with What was the crown thing? about? Isn't there some TV oh, show Oh, the about? crown, yeah. Is that about her or is that about, like, her mother? Probably about her mother. Hmm. Well, I don't know, dude. She's, she's, she's I don't was know 96. Queen it's about. So she is old. Well, sh she's not old anymore. She had, she's dead. Yeah. So. She had Diane killed in a fiery car crash. Is that is that a uh, conspiracy theory? Mm -hmm. Because Diane was like, there's a lot of Diane conspiracy theories because like she was speak, she was an outsider that came in and then she was she would speak kind of like she would go she went against the grain of the royal family and everyone loved her. Kristen for Kristen Stewart was in a movie playing her called like Spencer or something, and then she died in a very fiery car crash, and a lot of people think that that they had her. She, she was. Uh... She, she was too much of a baddie for the crown to put up with. The royal family, I think there's a lot of fucked shit there. I mean, Prince Andrew. Yeah, well... Close friend of Epstein. I, it's actually weird at the time, because I... Because of my service in the war, I did not sweat. What does that even mean? How do you not sweat? It's a... It was a... I don't know. It's a very serious medical condition. But isn't in the picture where he has his arm around the, like, teenager, isn't he sweaty? It's Photoshop. It's not Photoshop. That's what he says. It's Photoshop. <laughs> Why is the screen only me? Yeah, I was about to go change it because... <laughs> can, we, can you change it? Our monitor is just Ryan. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I forgot to give Luke a clap. I'll give Luke the clap. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Press the right button. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that looks good. Isn't this awesome? That's really cool. Also, if this episode's coming before the one where we introduce the neon sign, we have a neon sign. <laughs> oh, is this one coming out before we introduce it, like officially in the podcast uh, lore? I guess so. <laughs> okay, that's so. Cool. Next episode, you'll you'll see a, a formal introduction to the uh, the uh, the thing. Hey, oh. speak of the fucking devil, Luke's here. The person who edited yeah, this ahead, podcast that you're listening to right now. Hey, Luke. Yeah, how you yeah. doing, buddy? Speak of the devil, and the devil appears. Delta Farce. Yeah, Delta Farce. Have you You've seen, seen it, right? I've never seen it. What? Oh. I've seen it at this point probably like five plus times. Really? Oh, I, yeah. I've seen it twice. And that's another one that I missed out on, like Bruno. That's unfortunate. Whoa. Well, we watched Bruno together. Delta Farce. Yeah, is, we watched Bruno together. It's way better than Bruno. By far. Yeah, Delta I, Farce is the best comedy we ever. We should have a movie night soon and watch it. Delta Farce movie night? I'm yes. Sure. It's, it's, but we got to dress up in fatigues and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I can get that. Bring your BYOF. So you gotta, there is a, there actually is a military uniform store, uh, in, I think Echo Park, where it's just a whole store of just military fatigues and, like, different stuff like that and military shit, and I went in there and I was, uh, I guess, I guess I was, I was goofing off and they yelled at me. They were like, hey! Because, uh, they take it very seriously. Playing around with the grenades. <laughs> they have, they just live ammunition. <laughs> He's, like, pulling all the <laughs> Don't let go of that! <laughs> Dude, so that's when you when you pull the pin of a grenade. If you keep the thing squeezed down, it won't blow up until you let go, and then the timer starts. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that little handle flips up. That's when the timer that's starts going. Yeah, because it like when the handle flips up, it drops like a little capsule down that starts a reaction. Oh, okay. Yeah, man, that's we should do a, a do we should do a podcast episode where we have to pull the pin on grenades and then just sit here and hold them. <laughs> we should have a contest who can hold it the longest. No. Walking around in a public place with a live grenade in your hand, and you can't can't drop it. Challenge. At least do a flashbang. That'd be fun for the pod. <laughs> Just we, permanently ruin our vision we know and hearing. And hearing. hearing. <laughs> in this small room. <laughs> oh, I would. You, would you know what? <laughs> I would. I would do the, a flashbang. Let me see where I can find. Because that doesn't have any like actual damage to you. It, it's gonna blind you for a second. It's gonna be loud, but. 
<laughs> would that not be a great podcast clip? I think it would. Just <laughs> It would give you permanent tonight. Well, no, but think about there's there's sound there's sound padding in this room, so which makes the, it more condensed, so it makes it worse. No, the, the sound padding would keep it the echoes from bouncing. Does that make sense? It would just make sure all the sound went directly into our ears, and it wouldn't dissipate at all by bouncing off. Of no, 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 these would absorb it. It's, well, think about think about it this way: you're getting blasted with the sound first. It's not gonna absorb from the windows and the. Or the sound That's true. But sound moves so fast, I mean... Yeah, so it's only gonna hurt for a couple hours. I'll go look and see how much a flashbang costs. Okay. You should look to see what happens when you get hit with a flashbang. And I mean, they use them in, like, like SWAT things to, yeah, to stun I'm people. That, but they're not looking out for people's best interests when they do that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> they're not like, oh, shit, I don't want them to have the rest of their day. Like, suck. If it's safe, let's do it. There's no way it's safe. <laughs> You know, you it's not safe. It's just well, like, when the police come in, they just willy-nilly toss it in a the room. There could be a kid in the room. I'm sure kids have been flashbanged many times. Oh, oh 100%. Let's, let's do, let's do yes. tear gas in here and then just get to pull the Oh, my God. Just, that would suck, dude. Tear gas hurts. I breathed tear gas in once, and it was instantly the most, like, painful. I told you not to do it, but you were just... Hey, man, you know, I got to try everything once, and it fucking... Oh, you feel it instantly in your lungs. Just... It just feels like a bunch of... <laughs> it feels like your lungs are filled with, like, jacks. And, like, you know, plane jacks. jacks, you know? Oh, fuck, that's an old fucking visual. I haven't thought I know, I haven't thought about jacks in a while. Bye, guys. I still want to do my idea of a video where uh, we prank Leighton by getting a, uh, like, a cargo ship foghorn. And we put it in... Uh, like the editing room, and while he's in there by himself, <laughs> we just we set it off. Imagine having like a ring camera like hidden in there, and like he'd just... probably fall to the ground. Get that <laughs> that would one hundred percent that you'd go permanently deaf from that. There's no way you wouldn't. Oh, Those yeah. things are massive. And dude, I lived. We get it installed in the closet. I I lived miles <laughs> from uh the Charleston Harbor. And at night in bed, I could hear the foghorns of the sh of them out at sea. Is there something nostalgic about it though, or was it always Very. was it creepy? No, no, no. I loved it. Was there never like a creepy under? Because I felt like I feel like mm -hmm. as a kid, like if I heard a, it would be it would make me think of like leviathans out in the open ocean. Well, I liked it because I liked uh, Theodore the tugboat so much, and I was obsessed with like mm. that shit. So when I heard it, it just made me think of of like Theodore tugboat, Theodore, Theodore tugboat, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. I used to be obsessed with buoys for some reason. My dad took me out kayaking to go see one once. A buoy? I, I was just obsessed buoys with Buoys are always buoys. creepy to me because it's like in the first scene of Jaws. Buoys are creepy to me just because it's like... The woman gets attacked by a buoy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I, I really don't like... I used to not have too much of a problem with it, but now I... You kind of... I don't know if you've infected me with this, but now I kind of, I really... I want to hear this. I want to hear what I what I got right in life. I don't like swimming in open water where I, I don't know how deep it is. Right. E even if it was like in a lake, you know, because I just always get scared of like, because like, I know the, like some of the lakes, the big lakes in South Carolina, they don't have alligators. There's always those dumbasses that get them as a pet and then release them. So it's like, yeah. what if there's one or two that aren't, so right. those what if scenarios? Yeah, so it's like I'm swimming and I'm like, what if there's like one to two alligators in this whole lake and no one knows about it yet? Or they would be reported. hunting more near the shore though. That's a good point. Okay, I that's right. I was always scared when I'd be out in the middle of the lake and alligators. But they don't, they're, they're they're waiting for like like a young child or or maybe like a couple like not paying attention to the shoreline like taking a picture. Better them than grabs me. Grabs one by the arm. There, there was a guy Happens that was plenty of times a year. I'm sure. Oh yeah, alligators. How many alligator deaths do you think a year? Yeah. Well, also think about there's probably a, a lot that are uh, not recorded in like parts of the world where they just wouldn't report that. I'm but. just gonna focus on U.S. There were more than two dozen deaths out of 442 unprovoked attacks between 1948 and 2021. How many deaths? There were more than two dozen deaths out of 442 unprovoked attacks. Okay, so that many attacks, but then only, what, like 20 to 30 people died? There was a guy that was scuba diving or snorkeling in the fucking marsh for some reason. An alligator came up and bit his whole arm off. And then he just, like, got up and walked away and, like, lived.
Jesus. What? You can click on like the uh, alligator attacks has its own fucking Wikipedia so you can go by year. Like the most recent. I'm sorry. This is like. This was in South Carolina. Is it the guy that got his arm bit off when he was snorkeling in the marsh? No, it's a Nancy Becker, 80, 88 female. The victim fell into a pond in a gated community in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. It right was by attacked Charleston. by a nearly 10 foot long alligator. Whoa. The victim's body was found being guarded by the alligator and was later recovered. He's like, no, mine. This happened August 15th. So not even a month ago. No. <laughs> no. Damn, dude. What was Granny doing? I don't know. Another 80s female, Rose Rosemary, in July 15th, the victim fell into a pond along a golf course in Inglewood, Florida, Wait. and was attacked by two alligators. I'm seeing a weird pattern here. Women in their 80s on the 15th of the month, with which is the Ides of the month. Well, that's that's where it ends. But it really is like yeah, but people July, over August? 50. It's September 15th, someone is going to die by an alligator. A I'm, woman in her 80s. I'm not seeing, not too, the youngest person to die of an alligator was. Babies at Disney. I remember at uh, no, Disney. I'm talking about in the 2020s. Oh. Was 47. So young people don't get attacked by alligators. So they can go have fun, I guess. Statistics prove it. Um. Looking up shark attacks. Shark attacks in Australia. That's a that's a good one. Uh, since 1791 in April 2018, there were 1,068 shark attacks, where 237 of them were fatal. That di that Disney that like uh, the baby got tragedy. Changed. Yeah, that happened on my birthday in 2016. Fucking alligator. Fucking that child had to go and just steal all your fucking sunshine that day. Yep. Stupid man, and it was the same year, you know, the 2016 election. <sighs> it's a bad year, man. Bad year for me. I and Trump, you know, has shares a birthday with me. Can I not catch a break? Every birthday is overshadowed by something, isn't it? Yeah, flag day, even if there's not like something else, it's always flag day at least. Yep, it's on people's calendar, it should be. Yo, yeah, well, I have it marked on my calendar as Ryan's birthday, and I have Flag Day crossed out, and good, Donald Trump's good. birthday. Good, thank you. But actually, I feel bad for, for making a joke about the, the child getting eaten by the... That, that's Shit, really... It's a traumatic event it's for him. Yeah, I, well, that's that's what I thought about. I was, and then the, I, the, I was joking, and then I was like, oh, I don't, but the parents... I, I don't know enough about the case to, like... Because I know there were two sides where it's like, you should be looking after your kid... It's Florida, you should know this to the parents, but then it's like Disney should put up warnings, but there was a warning, but it wasn't in a good area. I don't, there's like, there's a lot of, just like with many things, there are so many small parts to the story. Ultimately, uh, a family lost their child, which yeah. is the, like, the number one Fear. tragedy. Yeah, that, that, that's, you never recover from that. But it's like, who cares what, whose fault every, it is at that point? Every parent, no matter how good, I think has left their kid unattended at some point. But nothing ever looked happens. away because it's like yeah. But in the this playground, example, checking your phone, the worst thing happened. Yeah. But also, I will say, uh, why would they leave him unattended around water if he's a little kid? You know, because it because uh, I don't know the full story. If so. it, it could be just a like a resort type sh shoreline, you know, where they have like lawn beaches and people's like kids are just like playing right where the next to the. I've been swimming in, on, on like the the sands at Disney in one of the uh, resorts, and it was just like part of the waterway. Yeah, they probably don't let people around there anymore. I would imagine not. Is that your sister? No, it's the Uber guy. Uh oh, what's he want? He just he's he's at the door, and then they never leave it at the door, even though we. I know they so many times recently. That I think they're working. I mean, they just spam call me. An assassination attempt. That's what it's got to be, dude. Did, did your Uber Eats or Postmates suddenly switch where it, your default Sometimes was... they'll just stand outside and wait until... Like, I'll wait a bit cause so, to let them get back to their car. Most of the times, that's what happens. But then, every now and then, like someone will just wait there with the bag. For like five minutes. Yeah. And I'm like, you don't I'll have open to, the door and I'll be surprised they're still there. You don't I'm have like, to hand it off. You just you, leave it. Leave it and take the picture. Yeah, it's fine. I, I mean... They might be new. Some of these people, though, have like hundreds of deliveries too i did yeah. get a guy who i was his like fourth delivery 
I got a guy who uh, walked into my house. Oh yeah, you got the, you have you had the, you had knock. your ring up, right? Yeah, yeah, I have a video of it. He didn't even knock, dude. He just walks up. It's this like bald dude with sunglasses, um, with a with a, like a soccer jersey on, and he just walks up with my bag, and he doesn't even try to knock. He just grabs the handle, <laughs> opens it, and then just walks inside, and he goes, "Hello," <laughs> and I'm like, "What the fuck, dude?" Maybe he thought it was like. An apartment building, and he was. This was the lobby. No, no, <laughs> I don't it was not. know. It wasn't. I know. I know it's, it's, it's not. It's clearly a house. I know it's good. <laughs> but I wonder. Imagine like, imagine him walking into someone's fucking home, like, uh, like a rented house, house. Dude, I, I mean, but ima- imagine, like, if, like, that was like a woman home alone, <laughs> and this Hello? guy walks in. What the fuck? Like, comes into like their bedroom uh, as she's like putting on makeup. You know what women do? <laughs> Walk all the way into the bedroom. Got your food. No, <laughs> Oxel and uh, Hoover were up were upstairs, and they were like, "What the? F- is, who's here?" <laughs> they thought it was like someone coming over to hang out, and then I came downstairs. I was like, "Guys, did you did you did, did you hear something?" Because that I just saw my camera that the dude did walked he wait inside. For you? Uh, no. Oh, he should have. I know. Especially if he's, if he's gonna walk in and commit, he he's got to commit. Hello. Some food? You could start busting if no one's in there. You know? That's fucking... It's weird. Like, why would that be... Before even knocking, why would he... His first thought is like, oh, I'm just gonna walk in. But nothing compares to this Uber nightmare. Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> you should narrate one of those channels. <laughs> uh, Well, has this ever happened to you, Matt? Okay? Call an Uber. It's five minutes away. You're yeah. Like, okay? Mm-hmm. Put your phone in your pocket. You're chatting it up, browsing whatever, maybe, I don't know, checking your watch. Who, who fucking knows? Browsing Kiwi Farms. And then you're like, it's been about five minutes. You're like, hmm. Pull it out again. Look at the license plate number just to make sure you're okay. Now this is the car that's pulling up. And then you see they're still five minutes away. They're, they're just, just in the sitting. same spot. They're, they're just sitting, sitting there. there. And they'll sit there for 10 to 15 minutes sometimes. And then you'll see them to start to move. And then they'll cancel that ride, and then you'll have to wait another 15 or so. Because if I cancel it, I have you to pay. pay the fee. Yep. Uh, but if they cancel it, they, I don't think any, they don't have to pay anything. And I, I don't know if they get money if I cancel it after a certain point. Is that just someone who, because they have to manually accept the ride, right? That might Yeah, just, no, I've seen, them, I've seen them in, in Uber, like it goes, bloop, bloop, and then they can either accept or decline it. I think sometimes it's like they see it right before getting gas, they accept it and they go get gas, get a snack, get a water, you know, and then. Whoop. Well, that makes sense if I, on the map, they were at a gas station, but they never are. They're on, always on like a back neighborhood road just sitting. Yeah. So. Those pesky little Uber drivers, man. <laughs> do you think it's a? Do you think sometimes it's a? Uh, what is it like a, a ruse? It's it, they're I think trying sometimes. to they're trying to get a fast one on you. I think sometimes. I don't think it's it's always uh, like an intentional thing. I, I think, think most times I just it, it comes down to people or people, and sometimes like they just don't pay attention to what they're doing on the phone. Maybe he, he accepts it. it and then he gets a call from his wife and she's really mad at him and for something to, and he has, to, he, he has to, you know. He doesn't want to drive while in this heated discussion. Mm-hmm. But or, he forgets to cancel because he's so distracted by the argument. Had to stop by home to take a poop. It was an emergency, <laughs> you know. I had an Uber driver pick me up at <laughs> LAX that on the, uh, <laughs> like right when we get out of LAX, He's like, oh, man, I got to use the bathroom. Dude, I got to use the bathroom. <laughs> and he just takes completely off route and then sees like a Holiday Inn and like swerves so fast into the pickup spot at the Holiday Inn. And he's like, I'm so sorry. And then he just r- jumps out of the car and leaves the car there with me in it and just runs inside. <laughs> he had you're to just, shit. You're just sitting in his car. He had to shit. When he came back, could you tell by his walk? He was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, Dude, there is like... There are few reliefs as great as as having to like have an emergency, letting it out, and then having that like walk out of like that walk back is good. <sighs> There's maybe a little sweat. You're definitely just kind of like grateful and like you feel emptied out and you're ready to go about the day again. You're recharged. You're yeah. Rejuve- I I watched. Uh, I dr- I was driving Aaron uh, Aaron Hansen back from San Diego once in the middle of the night, uh, and he's. 
I've never seen a man that have to shit so bad. <laughs> He's like, dude, 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 like you might have to pull over. Was so, it just immediately, or was it? Yeah, like from the jump, it just immediately, it was immediately. He like he went from this to, dude, sh- shit, yeah, I yeah, gotta, yeah. I gotta, oh my god! And he's like sitting there going, <sighs> and I'm like, all right. I, so I pull off into this, uh, I pull off somewhere in like Commerce, California, and nowhere's open. It's three a.m., but there is like an IHOP that's open. So I pull up in the parking lot. And like a child, he runs. <laughs> in and I, I mean, I could see him inside in the in the IHOP. I see him running inside, <laughs> dude. Like if I worked at IHOP at three a.m. and then a grown man runs inside, <laughs> I'd be like, whoa. But he's in there, dude, for a good 25, 30 minutes. Man, what? And I'm just sitting there in the parking lot. And then when he came back out, he was doing that walk. That, yeah, <sighs> I just did that. I bet you it felt good, you know? Oh, for it did. Him. I'm sure. But the uh, what if the IHOP like, was probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I I had to imagine that's happened so many times to them though. People are on like a overnight road trip. There's nowhere else open, and they have to fucking go. And they've been holding it because nowhere nowhere else is open. So it just gets longer and longer. Well, you know what's funny is before the shit incident, like thirty minutes before, he had to piss so bad. Where he's also, <sighs> dude, I got to piss, dude. So you he went and pissed. I well, I found. There was nowhere to piss, so I found a, an alleyway behind someone's house, and he ran and pissed in it. And then, and then after he ran and pissed in an alley. Then the shit thing happened, after we got back on the this road. Does, this sounds like a cartoon character, but it does, you know. Aaron is a cartoon character. He is. He's a little goofball. Imagine Danny. Dude, I got a shit, man. Oh. He has to take his wig off and shit in it. It's the only thing he can do. He's st- uh. <laughs> yeah, but he's so self-conscious he still puts the wig back on. <laughs> I don't think anyone will notice. Did someone fart? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Danny, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. He he definitely gets he, he's frustrated with us, I feel. Yeah, he's Constantly. frustrated with us. Yeah, sexually frustrated. Yeah, he is. He says, God, those two 20-something year old nubile hunks. Hunks. Come on. Flex with me. Look at that. Hunk. We're hunks, baby. <laughs> yeah. Actually, dude, you want to see something? Put, <laughs> put that as your profile picture, honey. Jim showed me a picture yesterday. Of his penis? He does that almost every day. And I've said, stop doing that. But uh, check this out. It's just the same angle. I always thought it was the same picture, but it's just from the same angle. He's got a boring penis. A weird penis. But Ooh. check this out, dude. Um, what am I checking out? This, where is it? I don't know if it's lay on. the groundwork for me. What are you? What are you about to? You're, I see you scrolling through your phone right before when we started for Creator Clash, dude. Um, and we went to Chinatown Market and we took those boxing promo pictures. Mm-hmm. We've come a long way. I didn't realize. Like yeah. both of us. Like, let me let me find this, dude. I think it's on the Super Mega Instagram, which just got verified, by the way. <laughs> Wait, our, our our Instagram got verified. That that's the last thing. So now all of dude, our shit's verified. Watch this. You said that you would never be caught dabbing on camera ever. Never. And look, I celebrated. Let that be a historical fucking event. I feel like I have though before. You probably just unknowingly. Where is this fucking picture, man? Hot. You're, okay, here you're searching a while. Yeah, here me. we go. I found it. Like, look at. Like, I have no chest and, like, a flabby tummy, and then look at you. I feel like I look about the same No, now. dude, you do not. <laughs> not even close. You've dude. definitely, you've definitely, uh, meet it up. You've teened up, dude. Yeah, man. Dude, you love getting some teen. I got a little teen. <laughs> I got a little teen in me. I got home, man. Every day when I get home, first thing I want is some teen. I'm fiending for it all day at the office. No teen here, but then when I get home, get a little teen. Protein. Uh, and fucking go like crazy. shakes. Yeah, I had one. Uh, I have a little walking in shit. Wait, when's our food supposed to arrive? It just arrived. Wait, it just arrived. Yeah, that's Probably what the take Uber, a break Uber guy eat. was calling. You, about. Know, you know, take a break. Have them listen to some ad. It ad is sushi, reads. so I mean that doesn't stay fresh very long. Yeah. Especially it's already been in a hot car, and today's like ninety degrees so outside. We should, we, y'all should listen to some ad reads. Well, we're gonna eat a little bit, but we'll be right back after, after these, these short short messages. messages. Nice. Yep. <laughs> Lately, I've been listening to a lot of Super Mega Cast by Super Mega Brothers Incorporated, and it's been great. 
One reason it's been great to listen to, well, because I use my Raycon wireless earbuds to do it. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. With optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds are so comfortable and they will not budge. Take it from me, Matthew Watson, from Super Mega Cast fame. Raycons give you eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life. Raycons are priced just right. You get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. And it's no wonder Raycons everyday earbuds have over 50,000 five-star reviews. That's a lot of five-star reviews, McGee. It sure is, Watson. I love Raycons because they got the earbud tap functions and the noise isolation and awareness mode. So, you know, I can be aware of my surroundings while I'm wearing them and still listening to that that great super mega cast. I have a pair. I pop them in when I when I hit the treadmill or when I'm just walking around the mall just to listen to some super mega cast. And the quality of the audio is so crisp. I can I can hear my own voice so nice through these things. I know that you guys would freaking love them. They're 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 wonderful. They're so good. They sound great. They look sleek, and they don't budge out of your ears. So, where the heck can you get these things? Go to buyraycon.com today and use code SUPERMEGACAST15 to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's code SUPERMEGACAST15 at buyraycon.com to score 15% off. That's buyraycon, B-U-Y-R-A-Y-C-O-N.com, code SUPERMEGACAST15. Go pop those suckers in your ear, and ooh, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, stop. I didn't say swear, but I swear. How'd you motherfuckers like those ad reads? Come on. Come on, I, give I a know. round of applause for those ad reads. I know you guys liked them. I can't right. get enough of them. You know, we, uh... I, I'm gonna... I'm, I'll be the first to say it. I think Sushi Stop is trash. I think it's garbage. I do as well. I think it's awful. I think it's awful sushi? Well, I I don't order... I don't Salmon truffle hand roll? What's that even mean, dude? Are you dude? fucking kidding me? What's that even fucking mean? It's I don't, disgusting. Ordering, like, sushi from a place around here is never good. Like, if you get it on Uber Eats. You have Eats. to be there. Well, there are places that you can order that is pretty good, like Sugarfish. That place is good. Yeah, I don't have a Sugarfish near me, I think. And they have a... They put it in that box, and you open it up, and it's all, like, separated with the sides and the sauces, and then there's, like, a little, like, chart that tells you, like, what to do to each piece of fish. It's awesome. It's fucking delicious, man. I, I can't get enough of this stuff. Like, they'll give you, like, the ponzu sauce and, mm-hmm. like, something else, and they'll be like, this is P for ponzu. And it'll be like, it'll have, like, which sushi rolls you eat what with what sauce. But, you know, I usually say fucking just, just do whatever the hell I want. That's, yeah. that's the kind of free soul I am. You can't, you I, I can't put me in a cage. wasabi. Yeah, I love some wasabi. I love ginger, and I love soy sauce. Watch this. You know what? If you're going to smoke nicotine, I'm going to put nicotine in my mouth. Are those nicotine mints? No, it's a... Uh, have you seen these before? Mm-mm. I, I want to quit vaping because I've been developing a cough lately. My cousin has these. These are pretty awesome. They're, uh... It's basically, like, the jewel of dip. But you just got a new flavor of vape. I know. Just in case You these... can give it to me if you want. You should try one of these. Mm. Six milligrams of nicotine. I usually don't like chewable whatever the fuck. You don't chew it. What is it? Again, I'll That's show a you. Strip. This is not an advertisement for tobacco products. I promise. Seems like it. So check out this really cool new tobacco product I got. Is it hard to open? There we go. Oh shit! Look, it's a little, it's a little tobacco-free pouch. Tastes good. Uh, you, you've done this before. There we and go. And I've done it before. And then you just and I tried it and I and I remember it gave my like gums that same feeling that nicotine gum gave me and I hate that feeling. These also makes me feel a little nauseous. I mean, yeah, these these I'm trying. I I want to quit vaping and I what my my cousin used to vape and jewel nonstop and then he got on these and that's how he's quitting. And uh, I've seen a lot of people switch over to these just to kind of also it's because I'm not I have to only do it sometimes like dipping. Yeah, got a little teen in my mouth. I love the flavor of a little teen, you know? Nicotine. Yes. Yeah. But oh, okay. It can work for that. Yeah, it works too. for that too. <clears throat> what else can it work for? Creatine? Yeah. Sure. That's too similar to protein though. Let me readjust this. Mm-mm-mm. Codeine? That's Dean. Yeah, but you could I'm getting some Dean. Codeine? I'm getting some Dean, dude. Yo, y'all want to sip on a little Dean tonight? Dude, I'm getting Deaned out of my mind. Bro, I'm fucking off the Dean. (laughs) 
I've I've finagled some Dean off the deep web. If you want to, <laughs> if you want to, you know, about to finagle this shit. Out of finagle. Do we have like, that conversation in the truck? Truck sim, yeah. Which, I, it's it's. I'm glad that we're playing truck sim again. It's a fun I love little it. experience. I love it. I love truck sim, dude. Like I can't fucking like. That is a game that I think I could always play on the channel and never get tired of. I could stream it, too. It seems like a perfect streaming game. I have it downloaded to stream. I got my standing desk. Nice. I could be able to start stream soon. I just have to feel comfortable. Or yeah. maybe I'll never stream again. And maybe you could join me on that. And we'll be the No Stream Brothers. The No Stream Brothers. I like that. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's the No Stream Brothers. <laughs> you can't catch our asses streaming. <laughs> no, not once will we be caught streaming. Never. That is that is bitch shit. That's that's first off. That's a little bitch shit. Mm -hmm. I'm looking straight into the camera and I'm saying this. Streaming is for little bitches. Ludwig, Hassan, uh Pokimane, yo, Prezo. Oh. Did you see what Prezo did? Did you see the Prezo incident? No. I saw that like he had like a funny uh advertisement for one of his streams where it was like him naked with yeah. his penis like does this have anything to do with that it did yeah so <laughs> okay okay so I, I I could not believe this happened and it's really funny and uh, Prezo took it in like stride the best way possible uh, he got banned from Twitch for okay. a couple days but then they unbanned him before because of that average no oh. he did a stream where he was drinking different flavors of soju uh -huh. and he got really like blackout drunk like so drunk like he throws up all over the floor, like steps in it, uh huh, like that type of drunk. And he gets up to like go use the bathroom or something. Mm -hmm. And because he's just so blackout drunk, he forgets he's streaming. He's like, I'm gonna go to bed. And he sleeps naked. So he just takes all of his clothes off and then just walks in front of the camera with his cock and balls and ass out and just jumps in bed and just like oh and then just God. goes to sleep and streams his entire night of sleep and then he wakes up and he's like <laughs> does he freak out I, I didn't i haven't seen the the clips i've seen the pictures but he he the tweets were really funny <laughs> but he's taking it in stride yeah he he done so, he did some really funny fucking <laughs> okay. tweets about it so he's banned for life no, no, no. He was only banned for a few days. Wait, really? They banned him for like a, they did a temporary ban for like a week. Or I think they just banned him. But then three days later, he was unbanned. Probably someone at Twitch. I'm actually like, surprised. I guess if it's an accident, yeah. do they take that into account? Oops. I'm sure they do. Do they take oopsies into account? I'm sure they do. Okay. You know, but it's fucking, just that's so funny. He fucking forgets to, he's streaming and walks <laughs> So naked. that was actually from a real like... Well, he took that picture and like photoshopped it. That wasn't from the. Have you seen the the picture though? It's like the Bigfoot walking picture, but it's <laughs> him walking. It's the big famous picture that's been. Uh, let me show you this. It's Prezo walking <laughs> naked back to his bed. It's really fun. <laughs> I can't believe that fucking happened. <laughs> Got a photo Prezo on Twitter photos. <laughs> Photo, yeah. Here it's this. <laughs> like a cryptid walking to his. Yo, Prezo, why you, Prezo? I gotta be real with you, dog. You know why you don't have any pillowcases on your pillows? Really? What kind of life Hello. are you living, dude? Throwing up, walking naked, sleep, going to sleep with no pillowcases. I like the sheets. The sheets are nice. No, I don't like the sheets. They're mustaches. That's a little... Are they? It's a little fruity, isn't it? Yeah. It's different mustaches, see? Okay, well, how about the... Com the I, that's a comforter or a duvet cover. What do you think of Looks that? Looks like a comforter. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. But, well, I mean, he sleeps naked in that every night. I don't, I don't know how clean it is. I'm glad to know Prezo is doing well, though. Yeah, no, Prezo is, is popping off now. He's a... <laughs> Prezo's always been popping off. Mm-mm. Nope, not true. <laughs> Always, well, recently. Yeah, no, recently, yeah. He not had, because of this event, even before this shit happened. Because he started uh, editing for, oh, dude, no, he used to do Game Grumps compilations, his own Game Grumps compilations, okay. and upload them to his own channel. Uh, and then he started editing for Cold Ones, I forgot how they found him, and then he just started, like, interacting with streamers a lot, and then he started streaming a lot, and then... He's a funny fucker. He's a funny, f his tweets always make me laugh. His tweets always get a little guffaw out of me. A little chuckle? A little chuckle, yeah. A chuckle or two. 
Chuckle Sandwich. Remember we went on that one? Oh, yeah. I do. Someone might not, but... No. Uh, uh, Charlie left that podcast. It's just... Good. It's just Schlatt and Ted now. <sighs> killing, Yeah, man, we're slowly killing the competition. Seems like only one of them is truly carrying the weight of the production. Yeah. Don't think, need to say I think, who, yeah. but... I think we know. I think everyone knows who we're talking about. Everyone knows who we're talking about here. You know, we don't need to say names at all. I love saying uh, shit about other YouTubers, but just being like vague and not saying enough where people's imaginations can run wild. Yeah, and start just conspiracy. Theories. You give like, them a. Fork they're talking in about the road. Ted. No, they're talking about Schlag. <laughs> exactly. You give them a, a fork in the road, and then we're like, we didn't say any. Like, we didn't call anyone out. Yeah, we just know? were very vague with our. With our drama, I mean one of one of the game grumps is a uh, a member of the Oath Keepers, but I won't. Uh, I, I we already know who that is. Yeah. I, I I don't want to. It's Danny. Yeah. Sorry, I have well, to. It's I mean, Danny. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> That's pretty obvious. Um, yeah, he, doesn't, Dan, he doesn't hide it too well. Did, there was a recent leak. Uh, someone leaked the Oath Keepers like members list and people that have given them money and uh uh. Are, are like members. It's a far right militia, mm-hmm. very big one. A lot of politicians on there, but yeah, Danny was on there too. I mean, he's not too far down the list. Mm-mm. No, I mean he's donated a lot of money, like all the money he gets from Ninja Sex Party. I thought that maybe he would put it, like maybe he would invest some of it, or maybe he, like he would get a mansion or like some sick ass cars. No, he lives in a trailer. Yeah, but he donates all of his money. To the Oath Keepers, yeah. Which he's saying that's what Christ would have done. I don't know I don't why think Christ... that comes into play. He's Jewish. Um, so yeah. it seems like that is more of a bastardization of his Jewish faith. I mean, his his people but, killed our Savior Yeah, in cold blood. I think he's trying to change sides, maybe play both sides so he can get into heaven one way or the other. Did Jews go to heaven? Hmm? Did Jews go to heaven? I always thought Jews went to heaven because they're God's chosen people. That's what I thought too. If they're God's chosen people, why would they go to hell? Jew- and Jews don't believe in hell. You know, remember that that book uh, or that movie, All Dogs Go to Heaven? Yeah. All Jews go to heaven. Mm-hmm. I'd like to see that one. Not all Christians go to heaven. Mm-mm. Nope. Some of them go to hell. Dude, I used to be terrified of hell. I used to be so Same. scared of going to hell. I, I, but like, my fears were. Like, as a child, it was an underground, fiery pit was scary, like, dark, fiery pit with this, like, creepy, like, red dude. Creepy, like, I I thought that even, like... That's scary as fuck. Even into high school, I thought that it was, like, a burning hot, like, what I pictured is, like, a big cavern that's, like, dark and red and there's fire and, and like, it's really hot. People being tortured and people, screaming. And you're there for eternity. I just you thought, get used to it. I just thought people were on, like... At a real rudimentary, like, kind of understanding when I was a kid was you just burn for an eternity in hell. And so I just thought that meant everyone's just on fire and burning alive forever. Yeah. Which does sound fucking awful. Mm, kind of sounds badass. Maybe you'll get used to it. You want to go to hell with me? Or are I we, mean, are we going to hell? Could that be our, could that be our movie? The super mega movie? Super mega we goes go to, to hell. hell. Dude, that would be awesome. I think maybe that's another book idea so mega goes to hell i like that one a lot <laughs> where we actually have the fucking rock off yeah we have to do the rock off with the devil see we oh, we always knew that our book series would be a trilogy but now we may need to think on it and see a quadrilogy yeah is that a, even a word a, Qua- a, a, a quad quad uh Nightmare. a Might franchise have to be, a have series to... is that just a what series, it becomes at that yeah. point quadrilo yeah, quadrilogy. Okay. So you did get it right. No, I'm sorry. No, he didn't get it right. Tetralogy is the word. Tit, tit, Tet, tetralogy. Tetralogy. From Greek tetra, meaning four, and logia, meaning discourse. Okay. Wow. No, but Wikipedia, the Wiktionary also has quadrilogy. Yeah, I mean, but the definition of quadrilogy is a tetralogy. It, what, I remember we had like people at church talk to us that had gone to hell and come back, and, <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to like laugh. At they you. went to hell and came back. Is yeah, that the stories like of they died like... on the operating table for like 20 minutes and came back. And uh, there was a famous like book or something like yeah, that. 
I remember that. That was really was, big. There was two. There was the where the kid goes to heaven, but there then there was like some guy who ended up going going to, to hell. hell. Yeah, no, I remember that book, it, it, and I was like, because when you're reading it as a young Christian kid, you're like, this is nonfiction. Well, this I, is like he saw this shit. He, like, I think he describes like ten foot spiders and cockroaches and mm-hmm. like crazy shit. Uh, but he he said that when he went to hell, it, all it was was just a a black void with with no presence of God, and it was the most terrifying, uh, sad, heartbreaking, lonely thing he ever experienced. And then he saw but a light. In actuality, it's just like when he went under, he closed his eyes. <laughs> and then, and then he saw a light that shone in, and it, and it the said, operating room light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's he's asleep. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, the light told him that he was going to get a sec <clears throat> a second chance, and um. To uh, you're like, going to get a God. second chance, and then he came back to life. <gasps> That's awesome. Yeah, they should make a movie about him. I don't think that people that have those like death experiences and come back, I, I don't think that they're necessarily. I don't think that they're lying. I think that they believe they had those well, experiences. Well, because your your brain is flooded with a whole bunch of fucking shit. To like, isn't it like right before you die, you go through like a huge trip? Well, when you die, your brain releases a DMT. So, yeah. So, I mean, like, but, but, I mean, when you die, your brain doesn't instantly shut off. Like, it's still going to be going for a bit, right? Unless someone shoots you in the head. Yeah. <laughs> See, that sucks. If you get, if you die by getting, like, shot in the head, but, like, at, you don't get your, but your what if that's your trip? wishes? Some people get unplugged. Other people just get, like, fucking with a shotgun. <laughs> if I had to choose a way to be killed, it would, it would definitely be shot with a cannon point blank range. Yeah. Shot out of a cannon into a brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> With a big target painted on it. <laughs> um, I, uh, no, no, I think, I think probably getting shot in the head is probably the fastest way to be killed, right? No, people do, people shoot themselves and then survive. We get shot with like, I don't know, bite a grenade. Yeah. But, you know, it's like, I feel so... Like what sucks is like I'm so depressed. I'm gonna end it. You shoot yourself in the head, and you just like blow your jaw off, and then yeah. you're, you're still alive. A lot of people that, as you were saying before, just fuck your about face to up. Say. Yeah, they just, they, and then they end up regretting their decision. Mm-hmm. A lot of people do, of course. I but like maybe people have explained like when they jump, they fall like in the middle. And of while fall. they're falling, they're they're always they're like I fucking I regret this completely. I wish I could take this back. That's sad, you know. But like. I think the most effective way, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, is execution style to the back of the head. Never fails. Oh yeah? Yeah. With a BB gun. That would just hurt. How many BBs would it take? Uh, You'd have to keep pumping it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or like a pellet air like pellet gun. Like an airsoft. You gotta bring out the pellets now. Dude, we should play we should start playing airsoft. Why not paintball? I really want to play paintball. Red, paintball. So when we shoot each other, it's like, ah, oh, we shot each other. Or, you know, you can have blue out paintballs and I can have red, Ooh. like super mega. Then when I shoot you, I wouldn't get to imagine you being shot. Oh, I'm like a horseshoe crab. I have blue blood. Okay. Or like an elite from Halo. Sure, yeah. You know, they have blue or purplish blood. I'm sure that they make paintballs that's like the inside is fake blood, you know, not just red paint. Like it's probably <laughs> oh, yeah. just like fake blood. That would be cool. Um, we should prank the office where one of us comes in with a gun and shoots the other one, and we have like a whole like setup, like uh, a squib. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah, squib. Just poof. okay. Yeah, we or have Justin come in. I think it'd make more sense if it was Layton. Okay, he has been writing a lot lately. Yeah, he's been writing a lot, and uh, he won't let anyone see it, and it's pages. Yeah, I don't know what that is. And he, he's, he looks angry when he's writing. And then also... Uh, but I, writing, I'm sure, could be a decent way to... Uh, therapists the tell you to, yeah, you know, why don't you try writing out your I did that thoughts. the other night for the first time in, in a while. I just I just sat down with a notebook and I just, I just wrote I, I like my doing, gay little emotions and it really helped. Like if I'm ever like upset about something or whatever, I like to just go to notes and just like type out my thoughts. Yeah, it's nice. yeah. It's, and then it, you just, whoop, delete it. Well, what's nice about writing when you're stressed or sad or whatever, what's nice about writing it is, like, 
When you're anxious about something, it's like bouncing around the inside of your head. Helps you organize it. But when you put it out all on paper, it's like, oh, it's all right there. And I don't have to, like, I don't know. It just, it, it gives like, even though what I wrote is exactly what I'm thinking in my head, it's not bouncing around as much anymore. I yeah. feel more like resolute. But back to Leighton, I did notice that I saw him on the computer. He's been looking up a lot of just like guns, pictures of guns. And I, I saw him, I, I also saw that he's been frequenting uh, 4chan more i saw a search for pip bomb i think he just it was just quick about it probably didn't i don't know we should check his history i saw he has 4chan bookmarked specifically uh poll so speaking of didn't is is kiwi farms under attack damn it yeah kiwi farms is gone really it's mm -hmm. gone gone yeah yeah, Kiwi Farms is gone. It's it's, it's see. I'm so deleted. like I, I thought this was like a a story like that was in the process of happening. No, I mean it is still in the process of happening because oh. so this activist that goes by Keffels. Here's my understanding of it because I've been following on Twitter. This activist that goes by Keffels. She uh, started a campaign um, to. Do you hear a ringing or is that just my tinnitus? There's a there's a ringing in here. There's electricity. No, and shit. it's it's, Could be this. it's my tinnitus. Um, she started a campaign to take Kiwi Farms down because of uh, the harassment. I mean, Kiwi Farms is a really bad place. Like, I've been on it many times, and it's, it's like, an incredibly, like, just horrible place. It's like 4chan. I mean, 4chan's worse than Kiwi Farms, in my opinion. But basically, you know, there's a lot of, like, you know... That's where the... Suicide threats and doxing and... That's and, where all the Chris Chan and, like, kind of making yeah. fun of, like... People with autism. Well, yeah, exactly. It's a, for lol cows. And well, actually, the guy that created Kiwi Farms is Null, Joshua Moon, who runs the Quickie as well. Um, and he's the one that's like Chris's caretaker. And when we were actually going to do a shirt with Chris Chan before all this stuff happened, Layton was in contact with, with yep. Null. We were going to have an official Super Mega Chris Chan. Chris, Chris agreed. Designed by Christine. Christine herself. agreed to do a Super Mega shirt. And we said that. All right, Christine, we'll give you fifty percent of the profit. So, do you want to do this? And she was like, "Yeah, I'd like, I'd like to." But Layton was our point of contact through through Null. I mean, I I didn't actually I didn't really know anything about Null. I mean, I looked him up the other day. Not not the not the best dude. I I I still need to watch the documentary all the way through again. Yeah, but basically, Keffels did this campaign. It got a lot of traction. Kiwi Farms basically like went on a jihad against Keffels. Keffels, like, flies 3,300 miles across the world after getting, like, docks or something and death threats to go to Ireland to escape it. Um, but then she was talking about, like, starting to do, like, IRL live streams walking around. And mm -hmm. I'm like, that does not seem like a good idea when these people are after you. Yeah. Because they can try, like, they can figure you out quick. And uh, they dox, like, her whole family. And then I think they just put a bunch of pressure on Cloudflare, which was like like a web hosting service, because they hosted ki Kiwi Farms, and they were like, we're not going to take them down, uh, you know, freedom of speech, like, we're not going to cave. And then they finally, after like weeks, they caved and took down Kiwi Farms. Oh, what made them cave? I think just the pressure. Oh. And it started getting like mainstream news attraction. Um, but then, uh, I think Kiwi Farms got a Russian domain, .ru. Okay. Then that was gone like a day later. And then now I think they're trying to get a Chinese one. Uh, but I couldn't see that going through. No. So it, like, so. so basically it's, well, well when, it, when it went down like Kiwi Farms as it was, like all, all the posts and everything are gone. So Kiwi, sure Kiwi was, Farms is- I'm sure there's an archive or something. Well, it was on the internet Wayback Machine. Yeah. And then they put pressure and uh, they took it off the internet Wayback Machine. Ah, damn. Uh, Kiwi Farms is like really bad. Have you ever like gone on Kiwi Farms? Mm -mm. I've only gone on 4chan B. Y yeah, it's like it's similar, but it's but it's more targeted at specific. I mean, it's it's like a it's a bullying website. It's a website just for people to like, and these people are like incredibly racist, transphobic. Well, B was like, like bullying. Like I remember when I like was. When I went there, it was during, it was around the time of, like, a mass shooting that happened. Oh, never go and there. And so it's just, like, it was just filled with, like, just people memes about memeing it. on it. And it's just like, okay. I mean, I guess, I think you want to be 
uh, generous and be like, oh, these are all like middle schoolers. No, some of them, a lot of them are adults. Some of them are like young kids, but a lot of them are also just fucking adults. Yeah. And, and they're like, I guess it's the edgy humor, you know, it's like, oh, the shooter, like they like praise him as a hero type of shit. Throw the N word in a few times. Of course. But, uh, you know, classic 4chan post, throwing some transphobic stuff, um, you know, maybe dox someone, share their IP. But basically, uh, they, the thing is like, a lot of people that post on 4chan that do like the jokes about the mass shootings and stuff, like, what's dangerous about that is even if they're joking, there are people that see that stuff that then oh, of course there's people within those communities that like actually have like psychotic I mean there, there beliefs was, and views there was a guy that uh killed some people and in his interrogation uh tape he's all he's talking about is like 4chan b-board the chads and the states oh this is the dude in um uh jc Island. Video. no or, okay no 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 no. that's that's even separate like the because the Christchurch dude in, shooter was Okay, because he said subscribe to PewDiePie. Yep, and then and another he was also Mimi. He was playing some fucking song. Initial or D. Yeah. yeah, but you know, and then people have like posted on 4chan before doing shootings. Like, um, and, and everyone Facebook Live is used a lot. Yeah, that was yesterday. That was used in Memphis. Really? Did you see that? Uh. Uh-uh. This guy in Memphis, uh, just this 19 year old. I guess he I just fucking snapped, <clears throat> and he uh just started Facebook live streaming. And he just started driving around Memphis, just shooting completely random people. And he walks into an auto zone live stream and just shoots a guy, runs out, stopped live streaming then. But then he went around and I think he shot like eight people, but Jesus five Christ. of them died. He would just go up there, like go, go into Shit a gas like station, that, like, shoot someone. It happens all the time. I remember uh, they got the, him the new, what was it? The cameraman and the reporter. Yeah, that was fucked, dude. Then there's the... There's the time where that old man was w- oh that 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 one like was the most fucked or something. That one was the one that like I saw that video and that one like made my heart hurt. Cause like dude, imagine you live like 85 years, go through your whole life, do everything right, and then just you're just wrong place, wrong time for some psycho just to come up and just. Pow. There was a time I was interested in like looking at this stuff because it's like this is the Me reality too. of things and stuff. I I think I've fallen back on watching that type of stuff a lot more now because I'm like, I get it at this point. I get it, I get it. and also... And it, it just makes me angry. It makes and me... It's nothing, there's nothing I can do about it. it. I used to be more numb to it, I think, but now it makes me more sad than anything because now when I when I see those videos, like, I can't help but imagine, like, if that's someone I knew or a family member. Yeah. And, like, then that gets me really sad. Uh, but, I mean, I, back in the day, I used to watch, like, a lot of those videos because it was fascinating. And, like, not entertaining, but it was, like fascinating because that's something that i mean death is you know fascinating because it's like it's something that everyone fears and we're all going to face and you don't ever see it and watching it and like for me i was more interested in like the accidents that would happen like car accidents factory or what like freak accidents like there's this one that i've brought up several times before you can't do car accidents but it's the one where like there's a palm tree or something that just like falls over due to the wind just on someone and kills them and it's like shit like that dude I don't so know. many deaths are literally just Cosmic like timing. Cars wrong place, going wrong up time. on sidewalks randomly. Like you just watch like security camera footage, and a car will just come out of nowhere, just poof, ro- go over a sidewalk into a building. And, and you're like, how do you, how do, how, how are you supposed to go through? Like how are how are these people supposed to go through their day and just kind of be on the alert? You'd have to be like insane. You'd have to be like so <sighs> always, and, and that would be butt. miserable. Yeah, because. You also can't control if that's going to happen or not. No. So there's not really any point in... Like a lot of car accidents, like there's usually one person mainly at fault. Yeah, I mean like you, if you're walking on the sidewalk and an 18-wheeler flips and kills you, like you have zero control over that. And that's what's freaky. You have no control over death. But, I like to think you do a little bit. Yeah, you do. If you I was know. in that situation, maybe I just would have done something differently. Well, I would have checked, I would have checked left and right. There's like shit... This is what pisses me off. Seeing, like, intersections with, like, if it's a stop sign or stop light, whatever the fuck. But then you see it turn green, this car start to go, and then a car going, like, a hundred just tries to, like, make that red light, that they're, or that green light that is now red and has been red for at least three to five seconds, at full speed just crash into, like, several cars. That's what happened, uh... Like last month in LA, and sh- and the woman killed six people. It's so one of them was dumb. an unborn baby, and one of them was uh, an infant. It's never worth it. Like whatever, I don't know. There's a lot of there was something going on with with her. I think she was having like a 
psychotic episode or she had passed out or something. But in I don't know. But in general, the way people drive, the like thinking of it as like risk versus reward. Like the risk is I could cause a fatal accident, but my reward is I move up a car length. It's like people people's brains really just work like that on the road. It's like, oh, like you're gonna get to your destination maybe like twenty seconds earlier. Yeah. But you should watch that Mythbusters episode. Well, what's also crazy is just like when you see the videos of like someone on the sidewalk and a car plows into them, it's like if they had stopped to tie their shoe for just like five seconds, it would have missed them by narrowly. If or they, if they or, used the restroom before going out. Or if they did tie their shoe, then that put them perfectly in that. It's weird. It's just scary how that shit works. Yeah. Just freak accidents. Just wrong place, wrong time. Uh, well, on the, on the subject of, of uh, death, let's go to the ad reads. Yes. If you're a small business owner, you know how important it is to be ready for the insane holiday season. And if you haven't started preparing for the chaos of holiday mailing and shipping, you're already falling behind. Luckily, Stamps.com is everything you need to make your life a whole lot easier. It's the 24-7 post office that you can access from anywhere. No lines, no traffic, no hassle. For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Get access to the USPS and UPS services you need to run your business right from your computer. With inflation on the rise, every dollar counts. Protect your margins with major discounts on USPS and UPS rates. Up to 86%, by the way. Off. Up to 86% off. Use Stamps.com to print postage wherever you do business. All you need is a computer and printer. And if you need a package pickup, you can easily schedule it through your Stamps.com dashboard. Rates are constantly changing. With Stamps.com's switch and save feature, you can easily compare carriers and rates so you know you're getting the best deal every time. And if you're running an online store, Stamps.com works seamlessly with all the major shopping carts and marketplaces. There's a lot of talk about small businesses and Stamps is definitely useful for them, but as a major corporation, Stamps is also useful to Super Mega. We don't have to send anyone down to the post office, we can do it whatever we want, it makes things a lot easier. The Stamps are, might I say, gorgeous. Beautiful. Breathtaking, to be honest. So get ahead of the holiday chaos this year. Get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code SUPERMEGA for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contract. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code SUPERMEGA. Keep that in, Luke. What goes great with a summer vibe? Well, how about a checking account with no monthly fees, of course? Like a cool summer breeze. Uh, na, na, chime. Chime is a refreshing way to handle your money. You guys like what I did there? I, I replaced the famous song with, with, with Chime. With no monthly fees, no maintenance fees, or minimum balance fees, it's how banking should be. And when you need to access your money, you can do so fee-free at more than 60,000 in-network ATMs at many locations like most Walgreens, 7-Elevens, CVSs, you name it. You can also send money to anyone, even if they aren't on Chime. Fee-free for you and no cash-out fees for them. I use Chime, so does Ryan. I use it as a uh, debit card, and it is fantastic because why, honestly, why would I want to pay stupid bank fees if I don't have enough money in my account? That doesn't make sense. I don't have money in my account, so they charge me money for it. That's dumb. Chime is great. I don't have to pay a lot of those fees that the other banks make you pay. Chime is, is fair and it's fun, and I have a great time using it. Do you know you can even build your credit with it? Listen to this. Chime. No monthly fees. No vibe-killing fees. Sign up for a Chime checking account only takes two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com super. That's Chime.com super. Chime is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by and debit card issued by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank North America. Members FDIC. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees apply. Accept at MoneyPass ATM in a 7-Eleven location and at any AllPoint or Visa Plus Alliance ATM. Other fees such as third-party and cash deposit fees may apply. Closing time. Time for... Mm, suck my balls. Places with, what? Dude. Seriously? Sorry. Don't disrespect that song, dude. Simi Sonic? I love Sonic. Not yeah. as much as Justin. No, Justin likes it a little too much. <laughs> you know? Well, when Ju when it comes to Justin, I, it's more than just, like, infatuation. It's kind of like... I don't know. It, it, I don't want to speak ill of him. Just kind of cross... It feels like it's crossing boundaries. He's definitely uh, been caught at the office 
at least he he paints himself to look like Sonic. Yeah, when he thought we weren't coming in on that one Saturday. Yeah, because we usually don't come in on Saturday, so he no. thought it was clear. But you know, it was it was interesting, especially since they were out of blue paint at the Home Depot. God damn, I knew where you were going with that, and I, I was like, I can't not laugh at that. Just coming in on a Saturday, and Justin's fully painted black. Oh, hey, guys. And, like, he's wearing, like, jorts, and he's clearly hard through them. Hey. He's wearing big red shoes. Has homemade quills on them. Dude, if he... if He looked like Shadow if he did that, though. With the all black, you know? He was doing Shadow yeah. cosplay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting choice. Remember that one, uh, we came in on like a Sunday once, uh, just to like get some extra work done and Jim was here. Remember that? It wasn't just Jim that was here. Yeah. Well, you know, we have a policy, like don't bring strangers to the office, people you don't know or people that we, mainly people we don't know. Yeah. Cause we're not comfortable just letting strangers into the place. We don't know. There's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff here. We don't know their true intentions. They could dox us. They could. You know, they could. There's a laundry a list fan. of reasons that we don't want so strangers we, you know, in the plex. Yeah, told 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 Jim that very clearly when he got hired. It was like, yeah, if you want to bring like a friend or something to the plex, that's okay, but just run it by us first, so yeah. we can like just basically make sure it's like not a fan or you know, you know, something crazy. But yeah, he was here with uh, two dudes, which is fine, but I don't. I didn't know who they were. Well, they were only wearing aprons, which was... Yeah, but did you saw the tattoos. I did not look at them that closely. No. One of the guys above his ass had the had an iron cross. I noticed that. I mean, they were pretty burly dudes. They were making cookies. Well, Jim was watching them make cookies. Yeah, they were making the cookies. But, I mean, both those dudes were pretty, pretty buff and pretty... Jim was in some sort of, like, military garb. I don't know what's up with that boy. This cool looking hat had some medals and stuff. Had a big skull on it. That looked pretty cool. Are we the bad guys? That's yeah. a classic sketch. Are we the baddies? <laughs> Are we the baddies? That's a uh, peep show, guys. Forgot what that sketch show is called that they did, but they're, yeah. The two guys from Peep Show, fantastic comedians. The whitest kids you blow. <laughs> How'd you like that one? I like that one a lot. Yeah, that I one, knew. that one's pretty good. Good, good, good. You good, got right? me with that. I'm not even going to front. I'm not capping right now. Seriously, no cap. Yeah. What does no cap even mean? Elon Musk. What? He, he said that in the SNL sketch. No cap. That's looking like cap. That's what he said. He said that's looking like cap. <laughs> that's looking like cap. I have a gif on my phone that I use a lot where it's it's just Elon like horribly acting as the doctor and it says and it has the caption that's looking like cap. God damn, that was that was the worst episode I've ever seen of of SNL. And there are a lot of them. Yeah, I've seen some bad ones. Okay, ready? A common way to use cap as a slang term is to type the phrase, that's cap. People often say this when they catch someone in the act of lying, or they're pointing out that a recent statement is a lie. You can also say, that's cap, when you're expressing disbelief in something, even if you're not sure if it's untrue. No, I know, like, when to use it, but why is, why is it specifically, like, what does it mean? You know, like what? What is the etymology? Oh, hey, hey, what's up, dude? Hey, buddy. Am I interrupting? No. no. Come on in. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Could you? Uh, do you have a lighter? Or? Yeah, yeah, I brought one. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Layton. You look good. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for wearing that. It really makes it a lot better for me. Uh, you need me to light that for you? Would you? Mm -mm. You have an ashtray? No. No. He looks like you need an ashtray. I could just ash it into this candle over here. Candle? Sure, yeah. Yeah, no, that sounds great. Got that there for you? Thank you. Can you light it? Mm. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Won't take up any more of your time. Thanks. Bye. He looked ravishing in that dress. He did, but why? Why is he, why is he wearing that? Did he come to work in that? I, I didn't see him come into work. I didn't either. That's why. I, so, I could check the security cameras. Do you like? Did he drive here the, in that? 
I don't know. I mean, it would be hard to move your legs too much, I guess, in that. But he seemed to be pretty mobile in it. I don't know. Women women drive with dresses on. Leighton's not too far off from a woman. Yeah, so. but they're so small and dainty. That's true. Why? Why? How can they it's even flexible. drive with those small, dainty hands? Exactly. How do they even grab the steering wheel? I don't know. Unlike these big bad boys, see, you guys see how big these hands are? You got big. You got bigger hands than me. You got, dude. You got nice hands. My hands are kind of like Jack Skellington ass. Fucking. Also, no, I'm good. I'm, I don't want to smoke any weed, dude. It's gonna make me too tired, and I got to do a thing tonight. That looks pretty cool. That does look pretty sick. Uh, <laughs> you can kind of see it in the center of Superman. If... So, all, I on my I posted an Instagram story recently where I had my hand like this on my face with my thumb bent back. Okay. And I didn't know this until recently that most people's thumbs don't bend past this point. Does yours? No. You, I thought we've, we've definitely talked about this before. You've gone, look at this. But everybody, everyone like in my... Instagram replies was like, what the fuck is wrong with your thumb? And it's like, it's because you're double jointed. Someone said I'm Isn't not double that jointed. That that's just hitchhiker's thumb or something. Hitchhiker's thumb. I don't know. I think that's the same thing, but like, that's weird. Yeah, I can't, I can't. That's, that's it for me. I can just like, mine doesn't budge past this point. <laughs> oh! <laughs> just rip your fucking finger off. Breaking a finger would suck. Yes. Breaking a breaking an arm would suck. Breaking a leg. I, I got a hairline fracture in my uh, right here once, and that shit hurt because I was at that school. shit hurted. That shit hurted. I was hanging from like a like a like a metal bar, and this girl came up and just pushed me while I was hanging on. So oh. I fly forward, bah, and uh, I had a hairline fracture down my arm, and that shit was so painful. Have you ever fallen off of the monkey bars and fallen right on your back and just had the wind just? I haven't had that experience, but I have been, I have dropped before and landed and it fucking hurts. It was this time where I you was, can't you know, breathe. you're doing the monkey bars and then you're like, as a kid, you're like, I could make this a little more fun. So you try to get your feet kind of wedged in between two bars and so then, then you're hanging from all fours. And then when you're trying to get back down, you slip a little, the, the gravity yanks you that you weren't expecting and then you fall straight on your back. Ooh, those Dude, are some good memories. When you get hit on the back and getting the wind knocked out of you, that's a horrible feeling. Or in, you know, right here. Yes, too. that. So that that's was in boxing training. That's the one that I remember was my cousin when I was a kid threw a basketball at me and it hit me right here, not like full him. force. And I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, you can't breathe. And I like dropped to my knees. What so is painful. the per? Why does that happen? Because I, I think the impact forces the air out of your lungs. You know, but why can't? Why is it hard to like, <gasps> like breathe anything in? I don't know. Like, you're, like, stuck to, like, it feels like you can't breathe for a second. Like, God, <sighs> getting punched in the stomach f is the worst. <clears throat> like, that is, like, even just put, oh, my God. I'd rather be punched in the face than the stomach, I think. Yeah. I think well, it's, mm, I think it's the side of the face. Well, face. Right on again? I don't want to break my nose here's the, again, Yeah, man. okay. Well, fa face will leave a mark. Yeah. But stomach hurts more than face, I think. But stomach will also be better in like 20 minutes like right here's a lot more jarring because it does knock the wind out of you well when nathan was fucking punching me in creator clash sorry dad when he was punching me in creator clash he just was driving his fist straight up into my liver that shit was so fucking painful two second victory baby 22 second victory that's what we talking about you know that's what all they're talking about is the 22 second victory <sighs> ah the crowd said mm -hmm. the crowd was like what the whoa and dad was dancing, thrusting at the audience. There were children there. Being sexually aggressive on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> there were children there. <laughs> you see, I wasn't mad that I lost. I was mad that he was being sexually aggressive towards the audience. Yeah. That just didn't sit right <laughs> with me. You know? If you look back at that footage, you can see it in his eyes. Something's not right. Mm, there's, there's a fire there. There's a, there's a fire burning. Um... But yeah, dude, that was that was fucking just the w winding his fist up and just driving it up straight right there. That liver is the most painful place to be punched, is what I was told in boxing training. Uh, and like, he and he drove one oh, right and he, there. He went for the liver. It was the first thing he hit before my face. He just went bah! came out like a fucking wild animal, like a chimpanzee. <laughs> yeah, that's been like locked in a cage for like three years, and then it's it's been had some bananas dangled in front of it over and over. And one day, the guy that's dangling the bananas forgot to lock the cage, 
he came out and got a taste of the banana. Oh, he got a taste of and, the but banana. Then the dude, the he, the monkey knocked him out, but he wakes up just in time to think that he's gonna do something after the monkey's had some bananas. Maybe the monkey's calm now, and he tases the monkey, which which sets the chimp. Sorry, it's not really a monkey. The ape on a rampage. Is that what they? Is that what happened with the with Travis the pimp chimp? <laughs> I don't know. I just came up with some sort of stupid movie scene. Does tasing? Do you think like ch- tasing a chimp would just infuriate it? Or yeah, probably. Or would it like? Because to people, when you tase them, they're they're out. Like you can't. Except for that one guy. But that's like a continuous like Voltage. when you see it's like tick 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 when they tase someone. For us, it's like oh oh also. Uh-oh. That theirs is way stronger, and it's your whole body, and also it's it's little needles that stick into you. So you, you it also hurts. You're getting shot with something sharp. You're getting a little pinched. You know, you're getting pinched a little bit. And I mean, it's got to actually be a pretty big needle so it sticks and doesn't just pull right out. Um, but there, it's always impressive that one guy that gets tased doesn't even react and he just goes, "I'll get you, bitch." <laughs> I've, is he the guy that like keeps walking after getting tased? He like stands there and just takes. He it? doesn't react to getting tased at all, and then he just turns around to like some person and goes, "I'll get you, bitch," <laughs> while he's being tased. Chad moment. That know. probably he was probably on like PCP or something. You have to be on drugs, I imagine, to not react to getting tased. Well, adrenaline is one hell of a drug. It is. As you found out in the ring. As we both found out in the ring. Adrenaline is is a, a crazy drug. And it, we- it lasts hours. Yeah. Doesn't wear off for ages. You're just wired. Yeah. I mean, that's... That that's, could be the cocaine we we took before the... We, we, well, didn't, we didn't take any cocaine it, it before Creator Clash. Our performance. It's, not a, it's not a performing enhancing drug, so it's not illegal in that sense. You know what sucks is I could have been juicing the whole time. Wouldn't matter. Nope. Actually, I didn't, I didn't even... I could have just not trained at all. Didn't matter, you know. <laughs> All that, that training think? for nothing. Is that what you think? Yeah, I could have just not trained. If if the if the outcome is the same, where I don't get to land a single punch and I just get beat up, I could have I could have slept in and enjoyed my mornings. You could have had him just run straight into your fist. He's running at you. you just go dunk dunk. I should have put some uh, plaster in my boxing gloves. You're right. You you came up to protect yourself like this, and then he punched you in the stomach. Mm-hmm. And like, that was his strategy. Was down up. up and up and down, and it worked. It, part of it was just the speed at which he did that. It was just, he was he he was ready. He's an animal. You're an animal out there, Dad. Twenty two fucking seconds. But if it's twenty two point five, then you have to round that up to twenty three, and the twenty two is bullshit. Okay, that's all I'm saying. There, there's not point point five or point anything. I'm sure in, someone could get a stopwatch and figure out the exact from the bell. To, because the counter just said 22, but they, they're they not counting uh, milliseconds. Yeah. They could, from the moment it goes, you know. Wait, that. this is big, guys. Can you can you guys do this in, like, accurate, very a- as accurate as possible from the time the bell rings to the time he calls it? What if it's it, 22.5? 22. It, 22 point, if it's above 22.5. 20, yeah. Which rounds up. Then it's so It might as well just be 23 seconds. He then went I, past. He went... Even if it's a millisecond, he went past the uh, 22 second mark. And you got to round that up. Do they round up in sports? I don't know. All I know is in math, you round up. Mm hmm. And math, you do round up. <laughs> if you want to. You don't have to. You don't have to, but I mean, it's a good way to just kind of be like, done. I don't want to do this anymore. At least I can be like, 22.5 and I can tell people that like 22 yeah. seconds but actually no 22.5 there was half a second in there so it might as well have been he went past the tw- it's not he finished it in 22 seconds he took over 22 seconds to finish the fight uh, so you gotta change the title on that one mm-hmm. buddy when uh, we, you know when, when Nathan brags about fastest uh, KO in, in boxing history in all of boxing history <laughs> uh, there's gotta be there's, there's a faster KO I'm sure Oh, no, there's KOs that happen in the first, like, five seconds. Yeah. Like, so. walk, no, fastest in, uh, like, influencer boxing. Oh. You know. But, actually, I think I think that recently someone topped that in influencer boxing. It was, like, 18 seconds or something. But when people see, like, TKO and those who aren't, like, familiar with boxing, they're expecting you to get your lights knocked out. Well, I didn't know that KO, I thought KO was you got knocked out. K- T- yes. TKO is knocked out. But K- no, TKO is being not knocked out. 
that's like technical it, KO. Oh, I thought it was total knockout. No, it's technical knockout. And so then, I got TKO'd. Uh, yeah. And okay. Then KO is like when you when you're the ref is like you are not mentally fit. You just got knocked out. You just got you literally got knocked the fuck out. Well, the ref decided that I was not fit to continue fighting, but because of the adrenaline, but it wasn't like you didn't get knocked. Yeah. You didn't fall. I I will I I am proud of myself that I stayed on my feet that whole time. I might have been running backwards, but still uh there's one point if you watch my slow motion video, there's one point where you can towards the end where you can just see in my eyes, I'm just like I'm almost like laughing because I'm like there's no way that this is this, this is I'm getting beat this bad. <laughs> and you could see me and then right before he like punches me like with that big one, I'm just like I kind of almost like a little smile on my face because I'm in such disbelief and then when did it become, I know I've asked this question before, and I think you said it, probably when you walked out, that's when it all became like real. That's when it, or was that whole yeah, it's, day? It kinda. was when I got in the ring. Yeah. Walking out in front of people was fine. I mean, it was a little nerve wracking, but. And in the ring, you're like, oh shit. It, yep. In the ring, that's when like I started getting dizzy from the <laughs> adrenaline. And, I mean, that's it when was I was like. nerve wracking. Standing there in the ring and there's 11,000 people watching you and then 100,000 online. I'm like. 100 million. Oh, sorry, 100 million. <laughs> and also just knowing that it's like, I'm about to get my, I went, I knew that there was no way I wasn't going to get my ass beat. So it's like, in front of that many people, just accepting that in the next few minutes, I'm going to be in extreme pain. And you got the party afterwards, had to, probably shouldn't have. Absolutely, I should not have. Oh, but you did. Getting uh, intoxicated on a severe concussion <laughs> is uh, not something I would recommend doing. You would you would probably advocate against it if I'm guessing completely correctly. Against it. Okay. Good. Well, when I went to the hospital, I, I think I said this recently. When I went to the hospital and they they you know examined me, um, they didn't take my blood or anything. But like on the uh, when I got my like sheet, my discharge sheet, it said reason for check in, and it was like concussion intoxication. <laughs> So I guess I was like, oh, I guess they just knew. Yeah. Probably pretty obvious. <laughs> well, you did party hardy, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Only embarrassed myself <laughs> in front of most of the YouTube community. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. They, but but not, I'm legendary. I'm a party animal. So people are like, like, yo, Matt Watson. Oh, dude, at parties, he goes fucking. Have you seen his Cold Ones episode? That shit was bananas. Yeah, That's what they say, too. I hate that. Bananas I, is coming back. Yeah, it is, yeah. And and I like that we're on the forefront of that. Can uh, all the meg heads out would feel that this episode was bananas? Question mark. If you guys made it through the this point in the podcast, make sure you say. And if you're an audio listener, once this episode drops on YouTube, go go see audio listeners. Honestly, uh, the video version is better. The video yeah. version is a lot better. But who am I to judge? You know, some people just want to listen to it while they're on a jog or something. Yeah, which we understand. But like while they're playing a video game. The video one's great, like to put on in the background on like TV while you're cleaning or something. Because yeah. then it's like, you know, you could just see two friends hanging out and it feels like you're there with them. Two co workers hanging out. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in to this episode. And uh, we will see you guys next time. You Go to check out our Patreon. Gets the episodes early. And uh, are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> Matt and Ryan, that was not funny. But I love Super Mega. <laughs>